A lot of people ask me about these tubes. I saw them on eBay one time and I bought them on eBay. Here's, I really want to name this the truth. The tackle companies don't want you to know. Mushroom the top. A little bit more. That'll do. People that have been kokanee fishing a while know this already. This is really all you need is these two micro hoochies, a pink and an orange. And I really don't even think it matters that much of color. It can sometimes. The Vetterfly, I'm gonna tie up the Vetterfly. And I think the only difference in the Vetterfly is I incorporate a little bit of flash. It's either a flashy day or a not flashy day. So I'm gonna tie up the Vetterfly and talk more about the truth about kokanee fishing and uh, uh, my thoughts on it. So really I only see one downside kokanee fishing. One kind of uh, crutch or one kind of choke point in in uh, kokanee fishing. And that is, I'd say 99% of it is done by boat. There's a few times, a few maybe there's a few people that have figured it out. Um, getting it off the, the bank or the shore. But most of, most of the time it's from the boat. Which is, means you gotta have a boat. But it doesn't mean you have to have a nice boat. At all. It doesn't mean you have to have downriggers. It doesn't mean you have to have uh, anything special whatsoever. I'd say the only, the most important thing to invest in is a rod. So you don't have to use snubbers. Invest in a, in a decent noodle rod, as some people would call them. Something that will absorb those little fish when they're fighting. And that way it makes it a lot easier for, for, uh, for like the, the fisherman that barely fishes for kokanee actually boat the kokanee. After that, if you just want to get into it, arrow flash dodgers and 15 pound leader and naked yeah that's right i said naked micro hoochies so i did the two legs just the two orange the flash right there which is that stuff that'll last you a long time tying coconut flies so this stuff i've showed this stuff before that's just this, the mini flat fly braid. This is chartreuse, but this one is like a pink, pink something. You don't need a fancy reel. Line counters help a lot, a lot, 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 especially if you don't have downriggers. Line counters do help a lot, but Akuma makes a very affordable, I think the convector, and then either corner maggots. So the three, three most important things, if you're getting into it, a, a really really uh i don't even know the word for it a really soft rod nothing really stiff you want something to absorb those those little fish i'm just gonna tie that off for now right there arrow flash dodgers and good bait when you get a good bait it's a game changer some people aren't gonna like this either when i say this but um as far as scent i won't even worry about scent i know that's maybe controversial but really the scent is in what i think is in your bait i don't ever scent you see all those videos i posted all those kokanee um and i don't i don't hardly at all post all the times i'm kokanee fishing so there's a lot more kokanee you don't see on the channel If I do use scent, I'm putting I'm just putting a few drops in my corn or maggots. And the big the big corn maggot debate, I don't think it really matters. I really don't. I think maggots stay on your hook better if you're fishing Roosevelt and you're just getting and your lines are like way behind the boat and you get a bite and it takes forever to, for you to get your lines in the water and or reel it back up and check the bait and then put it back out. Yeah, maggot. That's what's nice about maggots is you can trust they'll be on there more. And that's where like Sam Baird's anti pro comes in handy, in my opinion. That stuff is awesome if you want to use it on bait. So that's it. It's just four legs, 
four legs. It's very small. It's hard to tell how, how small it really is, how small the profile is on video, but it is teeny. It's fun doing one of these. I haven't done one. I haven't filmed tying anything in a while. I think I've tied about a hundred of these. So there's a hundred of them out there. They do last a long time. That's why I tie these on a tube fly. Cause if you tie them on hooks, there's no way they would last that long. No way. So I'll switch these out. I'll tie, I'll tie up new hooks on these four or five times before, before I actually, this thing fades out and it kind of starts falling apart a little bit. Truth about coconut fishing is that of course the taco companies don't want you knowing that these two little things, a pink hoochie, a little pink micro hoochie, and an orange micro hoochie. You could run these all around the state of Washington. I'm going to talk about the state of Washington because that's pretty much the only coke place I've coconut fished. This works in every lake. They work in every lake. With a 13-inch leader or with a 9 to 13-inch leader with an arrow flash dodger, they work everywhere. Really budget-friendly rods. These velocity rods. You just can't go wrong with these velocity rods. Either the Samurais for droppers or the Ninja, the Kokanee Ninjas, or these. This is a, a really good, you see what I mean, as far as this thing is just a noodle. So the truth about Kokanee fishing. Let's, let me show you this. This is why we all love kokanee fishing, because we can buy a ton of tackle, build a ton of tackle, use a ton of tackle. That's all Sam Baird's anti-pro. You don't need to put it on your lure. You put it on your bait. What's funny about this is I normally end up using the same stuff. A box of dropper weights is when I say you don't need downriggers. Cannonballs. From anywhere from from a half an ounce up to six ounce is all run for coping. Boom, easy switch out. Dedicated dropper rods. If you get that far, you don't need to, but on sliders. Here are the clips I use on downriggers. Just the little mini Scotties. Mono mainline, always, no braid. Why is kokanee fishing so addicting? Why is it so much fun? Because you get to, you get to build gear all year long. Here's, here's the maggots I was referring to. Here's the corn. So it's super family friendly. You can buy a bunch of different gear, keep yourself busy all year round. The lakes for the most part are like in really cool places. They're really scenic. Um, the boat launches are nice. There's a lot of docks. There's so many reasons to get into kokanee fishing right now. I don't think they're going anywhere unless there's some crazy outbreak sickness or some something weird happens. Um, and once you get all the variables pretty dialed, it kokanee are pretty dang easy to get. Now to get, you know, 30 while the bite's going on, that's a whole nother, that's another level. That's like Sam Baird, Sean Nichols, all those guys. Um, Brad Wagner from Bobber Down Guide Service. That's, th those guys are incredible because they're so efficient at what they're doing. To go out there and casually get 6 to 15 is, is not that tough once you get the variables right. So that's why kokanee fishing is so, attract so attractive. The sense of community and the nice people involved in the kokanee world are just it's really attractive to get into because there's so much help around. I'm gonna tie up that micro hoochie, 15 pound CR. This stuff is cheap. Buy the orange label, 100 yards. I think it's $11, 11 or $12. I'm gonna cut off like 24 inches. These are size two hooks. Let's recap here. You don't need a fancy boat. You don't need a crazy amount of knowledge. You just need a soft rod some 12 pound mainline mono and a good bait. Corner maggots with some, uh, with some anti-pro, some tuna garlic or some tuna, tuna oil out of a can. So let's, let's go a little bit. I don't know, what is that, a half inch gap? Um, it's incredibly family friendly. It's incredibly relaxing. You can go to a lake 
where there's nobody on, whatever needle will fit this 15 pound line through. Five millimeter bead. This is a radical glow bead. We'll put our end through here and then kind of fold it over. Instead of cutting the tip off, I don't know why I'm just, I, I don't like cutting the tip off. Try to get it down the center as much as possible. There we go. Push it down. Tag in will come out. That way too, there's a little, there's a little friction on this. It just doesn't slide up and down, up and down. And then this five millimeter bead kind of spreads it out a little bit. I used to use a four millimeter bead to kind of stop this, but then I was fishing with Bill Herzog and Bill, I gave Bill a bunch of these and Bill showed me this trick. He's got a few tricks in his bag if you didn't know already. This was the point I was trying to get at at the beginning of the video. This, you don't even need the colored hooks. The colored hooks just caught me. It might help you out a little bit somewhere, but it's not necessary. An orange micro hoochie or a pink one. You could take this. You could literally take this and this Dodger. These are not cheap, but it's not like you're losing a ton of gear kokanee fishing. You're just, you're just not. You could take this setup to 90% of the lakes in Washington and kick butt. This, just this with corn. I use corn most of the time. So corn, tuna garlic corn. And I have a video. I have a couple videos doing the tuna garlic corn. And it's a pretty easy process and it lasts a while. And so that's the truth about kokanee fishing. It's incredibly fun. You get a lot of action. The kids get into it. The lakes are somewhat peaceful. They're calm if you pick the right days. The boat launches are awesome. The people in the community are awesome. It's it's just all upside kokanee fishing. And, and I know a lot of salmon fishermen, a lot of other people targeting a lot of their species are like, why the heck are people kokanee fishing? Why, why would pe people even pay a guide to go kokanee fishing? And I guess I, my advice to those people would be don't knock it until you try it. A lot of my last videos, I haven't been kokanee fishing. And that's that gets to the channel update. My two favorite things to do, and I'm still discovering this, my two favorite things to do are, uh, are bottom fishing for rockfish, ling cod, and kokanee fishing. Because kokanee fishing is pretty easy. Bottom fishing is pretty easy, except for getting out in the ocean and losing gear and all that stuff. But walleye fishing is hard. A lot of other species are hard. And sometimes I just don't have the patience for that. That's why kokanee fishing is so fun. Instead of concentrating on a lot of different species this year, I'm going to do a lot more kokanee fishing starting or starting January 1st. I'm going to hit Roosevelt, and hopefully I can get over the pass. I want to do a bunch of smaller lakes I've done before, but I want to do more of it this spring. I finally filmed a walleye uh, 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 a video of me walleye fishing with my family. I fish for walleye quite a bit. I just don't film them because I have really up and down days. So a lot more kokanee fishing. And if you've watched the channel, you know I have a... When I'm on the boat, I have a tough time looking at the camera and talking to you guys and explaining what's going on and explaining the process through it. I've, I've done it a few times when I'm by myself, but it is really hard when you're with people. So I just want to take you to a bunch of cool places this year, this spring. I'll do the sockeye at Brewster again, but mostly kokanee. That's where my love is. That's why I was trying to come up with Northwest Catch hats, and I, I wanted stuff that said kokanee on it. And there wasn't a lot of stuff. There was a lot of there was a lot of companies out there, tackle companies, you know, with their names. But I wanted something dedicated to kokanee. So this is the new hat that I just I just put on the website, fishkokanee.com. These are awesome hats made by Cambridge. I've got a few on the website so far. This is a flat bill. That's the curved bill. 
These are a deeper fit too. They don't fit. They don't come up on your ears a lot and want to fall off. Look at this one. I think this is my favorite one. I want a dedicated apparel for Kokanee. Here's, I got a lot of different options. A lot of different options. This hat is your old school foamy. Um, I love this hat. I love these styles. They're so lightweight and they're so comfy. Foam up here. So that one's, that one's a press design on the hat press. This one is a patch, an embroidered patch. And that's an actual Lake Roosevelt Kokanee right there. Here's some Northwest Catch merch. So again, this is available at fishkokanee.com. That's a website I started. And I've got way too much stuff on there. That's the channel update. Kokanee fishing. A lot more of it. I appreciate so much all of you watching. And let me know if you want to see more of these fly tying videos. Because I do. I tie flies all the time. I just don't. I don't film them that much anymore. But I will if you want me to. I did a better fly just now. It's, it's drying right now. First one to message me on Instagram about that. Uh, about watching this video. I'll send you this one. I'll send you that one. And I'll rig up and send you the Vetterfly. So first one to comment, I watched. On my Instagram, Northwest Catch. I'll send you these two things.